morning students myself professor sandeep kadne working in a mechanical engineering department today we are going to discuss the subject computer integrated manufacturing system so let's starts with the first chapter that is the introduction basic introduction and the scope of the cim that is a computer integrated manufacturing system so first we will discuss the concept of the computer integrated manufacturing system means what you mean by the cim so it is an integrated manufacturing system the output of one activity serves as the input to the next activity so it is a continuous process or the chain process so thus it starts from the sales order and the chain continues till the shipment of the product CIM is used to help and automate the operations of the firms related to the production with the help of integrated manufacturing system. This integration can be achieved by networking the computer system throughout the manufacturing support activities. Now we will discuss the scope of the CIM. So what comes under this CIM? So what is the scope of that CIM activity? So this computer integrated manufacturing includes all the engineering functions of CAD and CAM, but it also includes the firm's business functions that are related to the manufacturing. So it is not only related or included with the only the CAD and CAM, but it also includes the business functions related to that particular firm. So the scope of the CIM is broader than the scope of the CAD and CAM. In this integrated computer system, the output of one activity serves as the input to the next activity through the chain of events that starts with the sales order and it continues with the shipments of that particular product. Customers orders are initiated or initially entered by the company's sales persons directly into the particular system. So initiate all these systems is initially initiated by the uh, company's sales persons or directly by the customers into the computerized order entry systems. The order contains the specifications that describes about that particular product. So the initialization or initial state of that particular cycle is entering the details of that particular product. The specifications serves as the input to the product design department. So depending upon the specifications, what is the requirement of that particular product, the design department persons or design engineer will design according to the requirements of that particular product. The new products are designed on the CAD system. The components that comprise the product are designed. The bill of material is compiled and assembly drawings are prepared. The product, the output of the design department serves as the input to the manufacturing engineer where process planning, tool design and similar activities are, are accomplished to prepare the production. Process planning is performed using CAPP that is computer aided process planning. So here we are also taking the help of the computer system for preparation of the process planning. Tools and fixture design is done on the CAD system making use of the product model generated during the product design. The output from the manufacturing engineering provides the input to the production planning and control where the material requirement planning and schedulings are performed using the computer system and so it goes on through each step in the manufacturing cycle. So in short the initialization of any manufacturing activity starts with the requirement of that particular product when and this requirement is raised by the salesperson or the customer directly. As requirements comes it will describe what are the specifications which are required for the manufacturing of that particular product or what are the specifications which it includes that final product should include. Now depending upon these specifications, 
CAD engineer or the design engineer will design a model using the help of the computer. So, this geometric modeling engineering analysis is done and automated drafting software is used. For example, any CAD software, CATIA software is used for the drafting of that particular design. After design is ready, it is handed over to the manufacturing person or the process engineer person. This manufacturing person will design or create a process plan that is with the help of the computer that is computer aided process planning. So, we are taking the help of the computer to develop a process plan and after process planning is done, the actual manufacturing of that particular product is started in that particular factory. So, this is the scope of the CAD and CAM and if we include the business function in the scope, for example, computerized order entry, customers billing that is bill of material, etc., it will become the scope of the CIM. That means, the scope of the CIM is broader, uh, broader as compared to the scope of the CAD and CAM. Hope you are understanding the scope of the CIM. So, this is the another diagram which shows the scope of the CIM. You can see here the factory operations includes design, manufacturing planning, manufacturing control and if we include the business function, it will be the scope of the CIM. The next point we are going to discuss is computerized elements of the CIM. That means, how computer is useful in these different activities or the domains of that particular design to the manufacturing. The first factory operations is the design, then manufacturing planning and the manufacturing control. In design domain, we can take the help of any CAD software, for example, geometric modeling software, engineering analysis software, for example, ANSYS. Then we can take the help of the computer for design review and evaluation and automated drafting. So, in this area, we can take the help of the computer in design activity. The next is manufacturing planning, that is the CAM, manufacturing and planning. So, here we can take the help of the computer for cost estimation. Next is a computer aided process planning. So, we are taking the help of computer to develop a process plan. There are two types of the process plan, retrieval type process plan and generative type process plan. We will discuss it in detail afterwards. Then MRP, capacity planning. So, these are the different activities which are useful in the manufacturing planning and we are taking the help of computer for that purpose. Next is manufacturing control. Under that manufacturing control, we are taking the help of computer for process control, process monitoring, shop floor control and computer aided inspection. So, these are the different domains in which we are taking the help of a computer. And last is the business functions. So, this is the main of the scope of the element. This CAD, CAM and manufacturing control are the scope of the CAD and CAM and if we are including a business function, it will become the scope of the CIM. It is already discussed. So, how the computer is helpful in the business functions? For example, uh, to entry the order, order entry, accounting, payrolls, computerized business systems are used for different activities which are helpful in the business functions. Hope you are getting the scope and the computer elements of CAD and CAM. Thank you.